I love quotes, by the way. I really love quotes, and I like to share quotes with people, right? I, and I and I try to find any time people there's a moment where you know they are a different feeling. I, I will say, okay, I'll share a quote with you. you know? So I saw a guy. He was standing, you know, on the on the on the rooftop of of my apartment, and I think he was trying to commit suicide. And I thought, man, he's trying to commit suicide. I will give him a quote that will inspire him. So I I used the Martin Luther King quote. And I said like. Hey man, it's okay, you know. Uh, let me give you a quote that cheer you up. I said, if you can't fly, you, you can walk. If you can't walk, you can, you know, crawl. But the important thing is keep moving forward. <laughs> I think the guy didn't get inspired. <laughs> what a failure. <laughs> By the way, have you ever dry humped a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for these people, by the way. <laughs> That's a good point. The reason I'm asking is, how do you get back at him? <laughs> <laughs> an eye for an eye, a dry hump for a dry hump. <laughs> That's what I believe. Which is, again, another quote Gandhi said. I love this quote. Gandhi said that, uh, an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Brilliant. But for me, I think, and I thought I is a very terrible exchange. <laughs> like you go to the whole country and you're like, uh, here's an eye. Uh, what do you want? Uh, the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important. It's like, first of all, you wouldn't say an eye for an eye. You would say a pair of eyes for a pair of eyes. Because that's just stupid. Because if you, if you go, and you, let's say I have a brown eye, or, and I go here, and I say an eye for what? For green eye, right? And I get a green eye. Now I just look like a stupid James Bond villain. I'm telling James Bond, look, I can from the brown eye, I can see if you're telling lies or not. With the green guy, I can look for leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, what if you're what if you're a person like like a pirate with a patch, right? And you have only one eye. How are you? You have to be really careful to pick the right eye. You got to trust the person that it gives you the right eye because once you take the eye out. You don't know which eye it's going to get, you know? <laughs> so like, I want that green one, and then you're going, holy... <laughs> fuck, what is this? <laughs> Everybody looks fat here. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse, actually. I think a pirate would have lost problem communicating. You would probably go, uh, an eye for an eye, eye. <laughs> He's like, dude, this bar is this thing, you get only an eye for an eye. What the fuck is the two eyes? I'm sure you guys are going, why is he talking about an eye? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> By the way, how many of you people here have seen the TV show, How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. That's a good topic. <laughs> for me, I, I, I think it's a funny show. I started watching it, but I kind of I kind of lost interest in the three episodes because the show starts with the father going to his sons and going, "Look, it's going to be great. I'm going to tell you how I met your mother, right?" And then first I will talk about how I fucked your aunt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes on six seasons telling about how he, you know, seven seasons. There you go. <laughs> has he has he still told how he met the mother? Has no. He, no, see? Yeah, you know, it's it's no. yeah exactly. I mean, what kind of kids would sit there and listen to their father telling about his shaggy life? You know? <laughs> if I was there, and if I was sitting and my dad would just come and say, you know, I'll tell you how I met your mother, I'd say, I don't have to, I know my grandfather did it. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I if I sit there and my dad's going, you know, I'm gonna tell you how I met your mother and he goes on more than if he goes more than two episodes of story, I just know I'm adopted. <laughs> 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 
By the way, what I like about Frankfurt, Frankfurt is a brilliant city, what I really like about Frankfurt is this awesome weather. I know. It just, <laughs> it just changes so constantly. Sometimes I look out the window and I'm thinking, am I getting older or is the weather getting changed? Right? But my biggest problem with this weather is, Frankfurt weather makes me look like a douchebag. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because I'm the kind of guy, Saturday, I'm like, ah, oh, it's cold, right? I'm like, does it bring my dress? Sunday, sunny weather. I'm wearing my coat with my whole winter stuff, and I'm the only guy wearing winter clothes in a sunny weather. <laughs> Everybody's looking, what the heck is wrong with you? This is my one day. You're not going to get it that often. So now I'm with like a douchebag walking around, right? The next day I go, okay, I'm going to be summer, suddenly now it's winter again. <laughs> I'm a douchebag and I'm freezing. <laughs> Talking about douchebag, by the way. <laughs> As we did. I mean, okay, don't go for the, the actual meaning of douchebag, right? Because vulgarity stuff, we're not going to do. Nah. I'm just, for me, because uh, to be honest, I didn't even know what a douchebag was. I'm still really not sure what the douchebag is. I kind of know what it is. No, don't want to know. <laughs> I just know that. For me, douchebag is what I heard when I first came to States, right? And, and somebody told me, that guy is a douchebag. <laughs> and then I made the connection, I go, so that's what you call those people. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but for me, a douchebag is not an asshole, just to clarify. Because I think we don't give, give enough credit to assholes. <laughs> Let me explain why. Because assholes are very confident people. Assholes are people who are like, they know what they're doing. They're doing bad stuff and they are literally going, oh, what are you going to do about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's an asshole. So an asshole is kind of a good example. It's an asshole kind of the person, you're standing in a line, right? And the guy just comes right in front of you standing and, and that's an asshole. And you just, you go, what's this man? I was here. And he goes, yeah, what are you going to do about it, man, huh? <laughs> that's an asshole. Douchebag. It's a guy who comes right in front of you, cuts the line, stands in front of you, and you go, what are you doing? He's saying, I'm saving this spot for my friend. <laughs> That's a douchebag. <laughs> See, some people get it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how the assholes are getting so proud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, you know, one time somebody talk about a douchebag. Exactly. <laughs> That's the good part of an ass is they're proud. They're like, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I never thought I could do that. Yeah, douchebagger, there you go. <laughs> douchey, douchey, ooh. <laughs> we'll, we'll go on that later, right? <laughs> but the, the last thing about douchebag for me is, douchebag, the, the biggest problem is you cannot avoid a douchebag because douchebag have their own circle of douchebags. <laughs> That's not a problem. So if you somehow tell a douchebag that, dude, you're a douchebag, then all the circle thinks you're a douchebag. You can't avoid that. So the best thing I do is I tell a douchebag he's an asshole. <laughs> Being in Frankfurt quite often, like, I think it's been seven years now for me, so I, I realize now that I'm becoming less and less of Indian, more and more of being a Frankfurt person, a Frankfurt. The reason why is because I, the only way I can recognize this is I nowadays get angry when people break rules in the city. I get really angry. <laughs> like, if I see a person on the left side of the escalator, but they're not walking, I go, and I literally I look at them and I go, fucking immigrants. <laughs> I usually, if you don't like it here, go back to your country. 